Welcome back, everyone. We're here at the um, next place, and we've just heard a gunshot just then. Um, I've just sort of realised, in a sense, where I am because uh, I do know. Oh, uh -huh, there's a pack of ramen stinging. You're a moron every day of the week, Hubert. Couldn't you have taken just one day off? See, here they are now. I told ya. All our building problems are solved. Um... You really are an idiot, Hubert. After I've dealt with this, remind me to explain the meaning of low profile to you. Okay, that's far enough. Throw your weapon <laughs> on the ground. Let's see those hands in the air. <laughs> oh, let's calm down. Let's talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. Hubert may have asked to join you, but he doesn't speak for all of us. And I don't for a second believe what he or this old man say about these ASM sensors. A-Sam! Oh! A-Sam! Whatever! Look, uh, the, uh, I don't want to hurt you. I don't know what I causes that glitch. I trust your reasons for being here. So please, just hand over your weapon. Um, this is a good weapon. Hold on, hold on, I got an idea. <laughs> okay, fine. Here's everything I've got. Fine. Oh, no. Thank you. I'll just put your weapon in this footlocker. Nice and safe. Don't worry. You'll get it back. See, Stodge? He handed over his weapons. Nice and friendly like. He's not here to hurt us. So why not listen about the Assams now, eh? If we join this nice fella, he'd help us build this place into a real home. Youngest, yeah. right. Seen these sensors in action myself. Just the thing for a fledgling settlement. Okay, fine. If it shuts the two of you up, I'll listen. But I'm still not convinced these things are the answer to a new home. Uh, what would it take to convince you? you? Okay. Even if I did believe these ASAMs do everything I've been told, how do I know we could trust you? Very we true. just had our old home taken from us by goddamn mercenaries. Had to uh. flee just so we wouldn't become indentured workers. So I can't say I'm thrilled with the idea of us running, only to be leashed by some new landlord making promises they can't keep. Even if these senses of yours work, I'd need to know we're not signing over our independence and freedom. I need to know you're on the. Uh, yeah. Screw this, get lost. Um, couldn't answer. Couldn't agree more. Um. Oh, hold on. I just better check my. Oh, I don't really have much uh, charisma. Yeah, look what I've got. Fucking add to a charisma. That's two charisma. Um, that's so that's five charisma now, so that's going to give me like a fifty fifty chance, I believe. I'll just wait for that always save and then I'll do a quick save. And see if I can convince him, because I'm not giving six hundred caps. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're? Sorry, but you're with right. This is an opportunity. Oh well, since you called me stupid, in case oh. you were dropped on your head like Hubert, that was sarcasm. Oh, all right. This might take a couple loadings. Um, oh, kind of wish I put more into charisma now. I 
Um, probably from now on, any level, I'm just gonna level charisma. Absolutely. Sorry. Okay. Um. Oh, I've just remembered. Um. I think B increases charisma by one. B. And I think there's one increases by two. That's our whiskey, I believe. Um. I mean, Kosho is ramming flight seven, six, seven, eight, flight four. Okay. Mm, that's gonna be annoying. Apparently, there is a thing. I've never personally been able to do it. I've never actually seen it for myself, per se. But apparently, with stuff like that, if you press it enough times without reloading it, apparently, sooner or later, it's gonna go through. It's like a, it's completed. It. I've personally never ever seen that. I mean, I've seen it on like some videos, I've personally seen it, never actually seen it for myself. Um, probably got nothing to increase charisma in these. Yeah, I don't. Um, Absolute. Sorry. Yeah, if I can't get it to work like that soon, I might do like maybe two, three more reloads. If they don't work, then I'll just have to pay him. Because I don't want to have... I don't want to use this sit through like... Half an hour or so of me trying to reload that. Although Absolutely. it could technically be easier Sorry. for some um, editing. Just... I, I kind of don't, in a sense, want to edit that out in a way. Just to sort of show people that... It, you may have to just pay them. Which I do want them with me. With me. Don't know, actually, I might try if I said to them to get lost then. If that, that'd do. Technically, he has all my weapons. Technically. I might try um, it once more. If he doesn't want to do it, I'll do the get lost um possibly if that still makes it so i can't recruit them i'll have to just pay them i suppose and i'll yeah i get my money back anyway sooner or later which actually not many people in for us um for, for have a lot of caps so if you do you have a whole heap of stuff and this loading screen's taking a bit longer if you do have like a whole heap of items and stuff you know sell, make sure you buy a heap of ammo. Um, is what I'd personally do. But yes, hopefully this isn't going to take long to reload. Which is actually the most annoying thing with a lot of stuff like games or programs that are like, or even downloading apps, like when they'll get to like a hundred percent. And either they'll they'll say they don't have enough space, or they'll like crash just as they hit the hundred. It's just like so annoying. But yes, this loading screen is taking a bit longer than normal. Which again, I don't really know the, the normal time for loading screen, but if it goes for another minute, I'm just going to have to reload the game. Like, actually, like, exit out of the game and reload sort of thing. Just had to, um, reload that. Um, yeah, uh, it just took, it just sat, um, loading for a while. So I thought I'll, um, reload it. I'll just try this one more time, then I'll broaden. Absolutely. Possibly. Sorry. Uh, Ah, uh, screw this hit. You know what? Forget it. You're not worth the trouble. Yeah? Well, it's about time you gave up on all this ASAM crap. All right, guys. This place ain't secure no more. We're gonna have to leave. Let's head out. Back on the road. Oh. Sorry, Stodge. But no. Mm. I'm staying. And I think Hubert and Gibbs are too. Teresa? What are you doing? We can't split up. We're a family. Sorry, Stodge. We don't want to run no more. <sighs> Fine. 
<laughs> you want to take a chance on all this ASAM crap, then it's your funeral. And you, if these idiots are gonna join you, you'd better take good care of them. Or you'll be seeing me again real soon. Oh. Why, what's he doing? How could old Paul help you? Is it, I don't know if he's leaving or not. Hi. Oh, you're back, huh? So, uh. thought of some compelling reason why me and mine should throw down with you and your... Right. Because I'm telling... Bit worried. Hey. No, oh, you're back, huh? I'll have to so, I thought of some compelling reason. Because I'm telling you now. Mm -hmm. I need to know. All I can give you is my word. Hmm. All right, I'm con All right. <laughs> All right, that's all we have to do is just bribe him. Here you go. Have six hundred cats. God, imagine doing that in real life. I mean. I, I kind of started collecting bowl caps a while ago. Um, because I saw this thing of someone actually sent a whole heap of bowl caps to Bethesda. Um, they got a free game from it. Yeah, free ish. Lost a heap of bowl caps. I thought I was gonna like repaint them a while ago. Um, as like the Fallout ones, but I just haven't got around to it. All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Hmm. Alright, I'm convinced. Just like that? What? You put your money where your mouth is. If you were just some snake oil salesman, you'd be gouging us for caps, huh. not giving them to us. Okay, I'll go along with this whole censor thing. We'll join with you. You better. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Was Dodge on board? Everyone else will fall right in line. But I've one condition, and it's non negotiable. We'll join with you and use your censors. But you gotta let us decide how we use them. If we're gonna make a new home, then we should have the say in how it's built. Very true, very true. Fair enough. All right. Well then, uh, I think we can make this work. Mm. Okay, everyone, listen up. This is how we're gonna do things. We need to decide on a leader. Someone who can take charge of the building effort. And then run the place once construction's done. Most of us have skills that'd be useful in a leadership position. So anyone who thinks they're up to the task, step forward and make yourself known. Me. I'll go first. Huh? Okay. Oh, what you. the? I can't say I expected Hubert to step forward. But what are you doing, old man? You're not one of us. I've already benefited from the censors. If I can, I'd like to return some of the kindness shown to me and help you people out. I know I may not look like much, but I've been around a while. Reckon I could offer some useful guidance. Oh, no, I said, um, until you're on your feet. Well, through a headset, it's the, the, um, if you turn away from them, you can't hear them as much. We'll have to pick just Hi, one of us. How are you? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you decide who gets put in charge? I think you'd probably choose a good leader. Oh. Uh, why? What would I let it do? What would it mean to be in charge? Well, I suppose the person would run the settlement. They'd be like the mayor or something. Although... Everyone's got their own ideas on how to do stuff, so you should keep that in mind when you choose someone. I elect me. Why do I have to be involved in this? Well, you're kind of already involved. Right. I mean, we are joining you, eh? And it's thanks to you and your assums we're able to do this. Plus, I think you make a good choice in picking the best person to lead us. Uh-huh. All right. I'll do it. Well, that's all kinds of fantastic. I can't wait to see... Oh. oh, can I pick myself? Uh, oh, I can't pick him. Yeah. Excuse me. How's it going, eh? Got someone in mind for the job? Tell me about yourself. Oh boy, where to start? 
Well, I was born. Oh, God. Then I was a baby for a while. Then a whole bunch of stuff happened. And naturally, I ended up joining the Children of Adam. Huh. Nice guys, but a bit too serious. So I left them and went to walk about. And then I met Stodge. Saved me from a real big mole rat. Then eventually me, Stodge, and some others formed a settlement. Then we lost it. Then we came here. Okay. Say your piece. Oh, like, what would I do if I was in charge? Yeah. Whew, that's a head-scratcher for sure. Well, suppose I could ask my old church friends to help out. You know, if we're ever in trouble or something. Hmm. And I guess just try and make the people happy. A smile can go a long way, you know? Very true. Just don't ask me to keep no town records or nothing. I ain't much for bookkeeping and stuff. Too many numbers, you know? Okay. I still haven't decided. Oh, okay then. Right. How could old Paul help you? Okay. Hey. Made your pick, have you? Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me oh. about yourself. I'm old Paul. What else is there to know? <laughs> I suppose I could tell you how old I am, but honestly, I can't remember. Uh, I used to live up in uh, Diamond City. Yeah. I owned a gun store up there. I made the best guns in the Commonwealth. You ever hear of the broken mask incident? It was one of my guns that took down that haywire synth. But after that, I didn't feel much like staying in town. Yeah. So I took up the life of a scaver. And it suited me just fine. But old age has a way of creeping up on you, slowing you down. So I suppose you could say uh, I'm retired now. Hmm. Uh, my case. Okay, say your piece. You mean, what would I do if I was in charge? Guns! Guns for everyone! Nothing says settlement safety like everyone carrying a loaded firearm. <laughs> And I guess I could share some of my expertise from my days as a scaver. Oh, Show everyone imagine. the right way to strip down salvage and how to properly maintain things. Youngsters don't know how to care for stuff these days. I feel like him, maybe. I'll think about it and get back to you. Alrighty. I mean, um, he'd be good for the fact of he, he kind of wants to make everyone happy in the settlement. Don't know about this yes. dude. <clears throat> huh? You made up your mind? It would be nice to know more about you. What? Am I story time stodge now? Yep. What would you even want to know? Everything. Uh, how about that I'm a ghoul? Probably didn't notice that, did you? Now, I'm not one of those decrepit pre-war ones, though. Uh, although, uh, I am pretty old. Obviously. Old enough to have been a gunner. Ooh. Back when that title was still worth something. Eh, uh, but that was long ago. These days, I'm more concerned with keeping me and mine safe from anything the Commonwealth can throw at us. Which is a lot. Okay, say your piece. What, I gotta sell myself? Ah, uh, fine. If you put me in charge, you can expect things to be efficient and done right. I run a tight ship, and I don't take no crap. I put my focus on defense and making sure everyone pays their dues. And if people don't like it, they can suck it. <laughs> I'll have to find. Hmm, this is a very hard choice. He's more of the doesn't exactly not do. He won't really. He doesn't know exactly what to do, but he wants to make everyone happy. Um, old Paul wants to make it so. Um, where everyone's protected because they all have guns and he will probably show everyone how to scavenge but then he wants to have everyone he will protect everyone um can't think of an old pull because I mean this dude's kind of still in charge plus they get one more member hey, what is pull. it? plus hey, he can teach everyone how to do stuff I've made my choice I'm all ears who'd you go with? uh -oh. How about you? Aha! This old goat still got some life left in him after all. Why, uh, where should uh, Paul and their companions move into? Ooh. Um. Or 
well, actually, yeah, the Red Rocket truck stop, actually, because yeah, I was going to say, that was going to be my play home, but I won't do it, and I'll make that into the castle, so, perfect, Red Rocket truck stop. Uh, city leader, every settlement can be assigned a leader. This person can act as the mayor of the town. Their personality and backstories can have variance in their settlements. So sign leaders in the future, build a settlement plan at this and the settlement there. Uh, next sign solar to it or... Uh, choosing the assigned leader can see a list of people with essential powerful benefits. Okay. Wait, what? So they did take my stuff? What? <laughs> I'm quite sure these were my guns, but um, okay. Um, question mark. So, what do I have to do now? We can, we can answer that. Right. Well, at least I've got people at the Red Rocket now, because, yeah, originally that was going to be my play at home, but now it's good because it's fortified with that gate. Um, it does have shutters. Um, I'm going to have to make sure my power armor does not have no core on it. It does get attacked by Superman on the occasion, but that's all good. It's close to Sanctuary, so if they've got problems over there, I can just run over from Sanctuary. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Um, Starlight Drive-In would be a good place to have this. In some ways, the settlements are too small in a way. Like they are big, but they're not big at the same time to have um, to have stuff like this. And more so, there's a lot of uneven land. So I don't know. Those are sort of things that still. Sort of think of in some sense with these um these is like the location you're going to have them but again red racket truck stop it's good location they've got the right stuff i can put in some water pumps and food there i need smallish water pumps but uh hopefully it does not crash Because the loading screen's taking a little bit now. So I don't know. Right, there we go. And we are here. So. What? Uh, me? Oh, alright, alright. Um. Oh, sure, I'm going to have to take, remove that now as well. Let's go to chairs. I was, I was going to sit on one of those chairs to try and sleep. What's that? Ask my power armor, dude. Um, done. Simple. I kind of do prefer the waiting system for like four to Skyrim's because, like, it doesn't make sense you're just going to stand there like for hours upon end, like Skyrim waiting. At least in this, you're like sitting down at least, so. It's that it's got that going for it. Okay. Is anyone actually here yet? Apparently not. I have to wait another full day. Cause yeah, I I wouldn't mind in some sense doing a um survival mode of this. Only thing with 
my experience using mods on survival mode on a console isn't good. Um, so that's probably where I'd um, if I was ever going to do a survival let's play of Fallout 4 on that survival mode, I'd do it without any mods, but I'd probably do it like a how long I can survive video, or more so specifically like if I die, that's the end of it. That actually be good for a live stream in the future. When I when I'm able to get a computer that will allow me to do that, because um, all the computers in a sense I'm I've been looking around for they're still in a sense too expensive in a way, or they don't have the right thing. It's usually either that they're too expensive, the ones I, I the ones I'll need, or the ones that I that won't have things to. Do things I need to, uh, okay, okay. Okay. let's get this show on the road. Grab your tools and let's hop to it, you may about. Let's get you a new home built. Okay, oh, there we go. Uh, once the settler has the settlers have a litter, they can start building on their own. They will start by scrapping everything in the settlement and begin building anew. You can always start later by selecting a silver plant on the desk. Would you like them to start now? Yes, tear all down. Ooh. Five percent to complete. Uh oh. Bit of piano work there. I hope this is not copyrighted. Oh, I'm, I'm being moved around as well for anyone who's wondering. What the? I can't go in the third person either, but this, this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, things have taken all my stuff down as well. Nearly all of it. Don't know how long this is gonna go for. I'm going further and further away from it. Oh my. Maybe? Ah. Uh... Ah, I can see them building. Everyone is wondering, I might end up cutting the music. Just because I don't know if it's the original music from Fallout 4, if it's made by um, King Gareth. Um, I'm not quite sure, so I'm probably just going to cut that music out. Um, just for that risk of a copyright strike. Um, but you know, th this is really cool though, like the fact that it has this thing where like you're moving around the summit but they're also building it themselves and you can see it being built it is just amazing but yeah, I think most of my walls got torn down but yes listening to this music like like in news won't hear it because yeah, I'm cutting it out but it sounds a lot like Fallout 4's sort of music, but sort of with a twist. A nice. Oops. Oh, I think the game just crashed. I do still see a loading thing now on the side, so it may not have. Uh, well, hopefully, if it's going to load, it's going to take a few moments. But yes, yeah, really amazing thing there, um, which I'm kind of thinking now, um, 
Starlight Drone, because that's a fair bit of a space of having a f like max out settlers or man and having them just build their stuff. It would be interesting. Okay, the game is, I think, just crashed just then, possibly. So I finally got it fixed. I fixed it up, so I think. Um, I had to take down all my um, walk thing of bobs I'd done around myself. Um, and that kind of got sort of um, fixed up, sort of thing. Because it seems like it, would, it just um, would not. Well, it kept on crashing a few times, uh, and that's why I thought I'm going to take everything down. I, I was jumped up here to take these things down just as the um, thing started. So luckily I got back in time. Luckily. This stuff all looks quite interesting. Presumably this might be a, that might be a house, a shop, um, possibly a guard post thing here. Oh no, um, it's pretty funny how that some of these like went flying everywhere. But uh, all right, well, there's a house there. Huh. I'm not liking them. Look at this place, all higgledy diggledy and Hi. held together with duct tape. I'm new around. Still. Guess Any everything starts so, somewhere. Uh huh. Not right now. All right then. They have food. What is it? Stop, is there more? No. Hey. You know these ASAMs really are a wonder. I know. Commonwealth's got a bright future ahead, no doubt about it. Now, don't you worry no more about this place. I'll do my darndest to make sure it's run right in your name. So off with you. Run along now. Hey. Wow. Finally, I've completed that. People need water to live. Shocking. I know. Is that right? Um. Commonwealth seems a lot brighter these days. I know now. What we gotta do now? Now pieces. Now this could be a problem because I know this usually like because my radio things have not been working. I'm just gonna see if this will actually work. If not, if the game just froze, I think possibly. No, there we go. Possibly what well, I might. Well, I think normally I just have to run straight down here, so. Don't know. I'm just gonna go take, um, come down here because I know this is your, usually where he is, but. I don't know how to fix this whole thing with the radios, I can't hear them. Because I don't even understand what's actually happened. It has to be. I still reckon it has to be Sim Science too, because I've never had it happen. Okay. Oh hey, I hope things went more smooth for you than they have for me. Okay. You take care of them folks. They all set up with ASAMs now. Ah, uh, yeah. I know this video will be a bit longer because ah, there's been a few cuts and stuff. After but, our um, meeting with the gunners, I was yeah. a little spooked. I was thinking twice about this whole ASAM thing. Thanks for talking about it. Both better if it's longer in some ways now, with the videos. Share some good news. In a way, I, I managed to get the I can't say to do shorter videos. Like, Come over here, I let me show again. you. 30 minutes is usually the longest I usually want to have. Suddenly, them. the darn thing just sprung to life. I guess I bypassed enough busted components. Whoa. I knew you had it in you. We're not out of the woods just yet, but we are close. Now that the comm hub is okay. actually running, I know the exact parts we need to get it fully repaired. If I could get this baby firing all cylinders again, it'll be perfect for what you'll be needing. I'm listening. 
With the hub fully functional, we could finally establish reliable communications between every single one of our settlements. Good. Think about it. Near instant communication. Every settlement part of a networked interchange. If we had something like that, surprise attacks would be a thing of the past. Not even the gunners would be a worry no more. Plus, we'd have efficient division of labor, meaning faster settlement growth. How can I help? I'm glad you asked. Hmm. We're not quite at the settlement interchange stage just yet. First, we're gonna need some specialized components to form the set. That's set up in the corner. I nice. that's where I'm gonna need your help. Much. That is, if you're willing to do a little legwork. Ah, oh, you're not so rocket fair enough. Sure, I'm game. Now that's the spirit I love to see. Here. I'll, I'll be ending it in a minute. I'm just want to get this. These locations ready for are where we should episode. be able to find the components we need. However, this ain't gonna be the kind of stuff you'll be able to grab yourself. Oh. The parts will need to be stripped out of the tech they're housed in. But don't worry, I got the solution. Mala! Get over here! Oh. I believe you're familiar with our robot friend. Figured it was past time she had a name. Good to see you again. Mala here could take care of stripping out the components and deliver them back to me. Uh. What you need to do is clear out a potential salvage site, scan it with an ASAM, and leave behind a locator beacon. Hmm. How'd you come up with that name? Well, it seemed kind of rude just calling a robot all the time. And considering she has an official function now, I thought a name was in order. Mo oh. Ah, the Mobile uh. Analytic Load Baron Automaton. Or Mala. And since the name sounds kind of feminine, I figured that makes her a girl robot. Protect and serve. Sure, I can do that. Well, ain't you just a ray of sunshine? Yeah. I've adapted Mala's transceiver unit so she can pick up and follow the beacon signals. Mm. That way, the robot can get to and from the salvage site without wandering off and getting lost. Sounds good. I'll um, just quickly run back to Red, um, red Rock and see what everyone built. Never mind, actually, the game just crashed. Um, okay, I'll leave it off here. Um, I'll probably redo a bit of this next episode and start off there. But um, you know, for this episode, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.